the one player I don't want is is JJ Watt. Um, Ooh. Now, like, that's perfect segue into our next yeah. thing here. Uh, why number one and number two? What? Uh, well, uh, number one, I don't I don't think it would happen. Houston just doesn't trade players with Dallas. It's just, well, he was released just to let yeah. you know. Uh, he was oh, released. oh yeah, yeah, that's a good point. So I. <sighs> I think I think JJ Watt is a very brand conscious uh, player. He's mm-hmm. conscious of his public brand. I think if you watched the season of uh, Hard Knocks, yep, that that was filmed in Houston um, three or four years ago. I it's very easy to get a sense of that. Mm-hmm. And that's fine. Like it's it's his career, and and he's looking out for. I would assume a he just wants to be John Cena when he's done in the NFL. <laughs> um because that's kind of how he how he portrays himself at, as a player already um and, and i i respect that uh, i i don't think it would <sighs> I, I don't know i i've got a lot of hot takes on jj watt but they're not all totally football related i will tell you this i've seen tony romo scramble out of a jj watt J.J. Watt have both his arms on Tony Romo, and Tony Romo was able to pirouette out of that. This is about six, seven years ago. Um, mm-hmm. I'll maybe post the highlight in the comments or something. Yeah. Um, I, and that that was when Watt was in his prime. I think he's not quite over the hill. I think he could have the kind of career, uh, you know, uh, we talked about Dominic and Sue. I, I, I think he could he could – go somewhere and plug in and kind of support and also ride the bandwagon into a playoff run and a Super Bowl run for a couple of teams. Mm -hmm. Um, Just for some, I just don't see it happening in Dallas. Unless his, unless his um, animus towards Houston is so, and, and I know he loves that fan base. I know he loved that city and he, you know, was a, was a, vocal supporter of it during various natural disasters I, I i think he he has enough respect for the houston fans yeah. um that he wouldn't go to dallas because uh, yeah. it would i think that would be kind of a kick in the teeth to the fans that's what that's why i think of it first and foremost I, I also think that unless unless jerry's trying to plug together this kind of avengers super team um like the bucks did where they just got a bunch of you know a bunch of rejects from a, a, a that were a talented rejects from a bunch of other teams and slapped together this Super Bowl juggernaut, um, which I still don't know if Jerry's going to try to do that like he used to do in days of yore. Um, I think the most likely I've I've heard I've heard Cleveland talked about as a destination for Watt, which is possible, um, and and I think that could help make them. A Super Bowl contender, mm-hmm. um, maybe maybe just an AFC Championship contender. Maybe Super Bowl contender is too much to expect for mm-hmm. um, for Cleveland, but who knows? Um, I'd like to see him go to Jacksonville. That's been mm-hmm. talked about quite a bit. I, I think that would allow him to to stick it to the Houston organization without sticking it to the Houston fans nearly as much as going to Dallas would. Yeah. Um, even though it's a, Jacksonville's a divisional rival, but it's, it's, I don't think Houston fans hate the Jaguars nearly as much as they hate the Cowboys. Mm-hmm. And I, I would hope they don't, I would be per, a little offended if they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, and maybe there is, there is some more animus there, but I feel, I feel like their rivalry with, with Tennessee and with, with Indianapolis is, is greater in that division than, than with Jacksonville. Um, Cause Tennessee being the former Houston team. Yep. Yep. Um, so Jacksonville's my, my kind of my hopeful pick, I think from a, from a kind of a marketing standpoint, green Bay would be the perfect place to go for him because yeah. he's a Wisconsin boy. Um, and, and uh, the fans there would love it. Mm-hmm. I don't know if, uh, if that ownership group is is willing to make that kind of like big name acquisition Mm -hmm. 
Because I feel like I, I, J.J. Watt's the kind of guy who's smart enough that he could take a pay cut to go yeah. to Green Bay and tilt for a Super Bowl. Um, uh, and, and just make, you know, just get a really good set of endorsements with, like, PBR and uh, Johnsonville Brats and, you yeah. know, <laughs> make, shore, shore up his, his funds that way. Um, and it would just be an insufferable combination of all that Scani stuff. But yeah. but it, but th- it's a need that um, as much as the, the Packers probably need – a little more on offense. We've mm-hmm. talked about this in the previous episode that I was on. Um, a, a, a star defensive player like like JJ Watt would be would be a big deal for them. And and I think that that's an ownership group that considers uh, jersey sales as much, if not more so, than they consider um, winning a Super Bowl as mm-hmm. a. I think they're content. We talked about this a little bit before, but I think that's an organization that's content to win a Super Bowl every ten to fifteen years, as long as they're in contention all the time. Mm-hmm. But winning it all is—they just don't want to be at the bottom of the division, like mm-hmm. they were in the '80s and half the '90s when nobody cared about them, and actually a lot of the '70s too. But <laughs> well, I think here's the thing. I, I get the whole J.J. Watt to the uh, to the Packers rumors and uh, the love for that. Yeah, it's wish fulfillment. <laughs> I, I, it's, it is, but at the same time, I just I don't know if I see it. I mean, he, they've got Preston Smith, they've got Zadarius Smith, um, they've got Kenny Clark. So I, as much as I think it would make a lot of sense, I just don't know how much sense it would actually make. You know, so I think. Uh, you know, it would be interesting. It it really depends on what the Packers are willing to do with Preston Smith because they're not letting Lizardaria Smith walk. They're not letting Kenny Clark walk. I believe he just signed a contract extension. Um, so at the end of the day, it has to come down to who they are willing to pay, who they're willing to bring in, and let's stay there. So I think J.J. Watt really needs to go to the Arizona Cardinals. Mm-hmm. I think he has to reunite with DeAndre Hopkins. He will he will get combined with Chandler Jones, that young defense that's up and coming. Buda Baker's one of the best safeties. I should probably get back to my main point here. But the Arizona Cardinals need to go after J.J. Watt. Reunite him with the young quarterback. Reunite him with DeAndre Hopkins. Reunite him with a defense that really needs a true leader other than Chandler Jones. If you, if you put J.J. Watt on that squad, you find a guy that goes out there, gets it done, leads by example. Uh, I think J.J. Watt should definitely take this one into consideration, and it should be a very, uh, it should be a very big moving forward. So uh, the Cardinals definitely need to do their best to sign J.J. Watt because he is a he's a game changing player, uh, and I think it would be a great fit uh, uh, for the former uh, Wisconsin Badger. Yeah, no, I, I that's a really good pick. I think he would have the most impact on that team. He'd make mm-hmm. an impact wherever he went, but but towards tilting towards a you know playoff something. <laughs> Making enough of a splash in the playoffs that you can that you can sneak into the Super Bowl because that seems to be the best way to do it. Yep, um, that's the, it's the goal. It really is. Yeah, coming out of nowhere. Um, we've seen it so many times. So yeah, I, I, that's I hadn't even thought of that, and it's a it's a fantastic fit. So it probably won't happen. Probably <laughs> no, I, no, go to the I, Jets or something. <laughs> <laughs> Sign a fifty million dollar a year contract with the Jets? No. Uh, 